أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحب الأقفة من لساني يفقه قولي آمين يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How is everybody? Sorry for being a bit late uh, New schedule of the class today um, We're starting early because of my appointment for my son's cricket so every Saturday we're going to start a bit early, inshallah, about 7.15, same time. So as soon as I started this hangout, um, something happened and my Google Chrome crashed. Um, so I had to restart it again. So I hope you didn't have to wait too much. Um, sorry about that. It's about five minutes of delay in kicking off the class. So how was the week? It's, uh, alhamdulillah, very good weather these days. Um, so things have gone a bit brighter and warmer at the same time. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and having some nice time with your families and friends and you're giving enough attention to your Arabic learning as well. So you can come closer to the Quran, inshallah. So this weather is a blessing and we should, we should all thank Allah, inshallah. And one of the ways to thank Allah is to come closer to the Quran. And just just to show that we we, we really uh, we really want to and we have that keen intention inshallah. So good. Um, we did cover quite a lot so far. We have covered four. We have covered about six families so far uh, in self. Today we're going to do set family seven. But of course, as always, we're going to qu quickly review on on the previous one. So we are all up to speed and the knowledge is fresh. Um, Family seven is a very, very easy family. We'll see if we need the whole class. If it needs a whole class, great. If not, we may touch on to family eight as well. So um, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Um, so inshallah, I will start the class now. And we will we will um, start with the families. Uh, fam we'll, review the, we'll review the families and also then start the family seven. Let me share my screen with you as always. And as always, to remind you that I have my WhatsApp in front of me and I can see the live streaming on my phone as well. So I know when it gets disrupted and I, I, I hopefully your questions popping up. So if you have questions, I'm sure I'll do my best to answer them the best of my ability and good um so again let's let's stop so let's do a quick review of families quick review of the surf families so how i want to do it it's not the one not the way we did last, last time so we did want to construct few things I, I want to construct I, I don't want to do just the fact that what each family what what I actually how each family was identified I would, I would also like to construct construct a bit more um, words in that family so that will help us remind we did in that family okay so what are we constructing we we're gonna construct uh, um, let's say uh, um, a command. We construct a command for the family. We also construct the master. We construct the present, and we construct the past. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. And on the on 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 the side, I I will I will mention which family this is. Okay. So let me let me insert another column here. Um. So on the side, I'm going to mention which which family is this. I, I'm 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 struggling with my machine a little bit these days because it's um, it's getting slower, so I probably need to do something about that. But um, so it sometimes um, takes a bit longer to just do some sim simple tasks. I need to I need to get that sorted. So bear with me if it is taking a bit of time. Um, in, in, in adjusting a few things. Uh, okay, good. Um, so insert the columns on the left. 
Oops, sir, close to the left. So what I'll do now is I'll put a family number here. It's like a family. Here, this is the family. And we have a present tense, we have a past tense, we have master, we have command. Okay. That's how we will do it. Okay. Okay, good. So um, let me just uh, start with the first family. So which was the first family we did? Do you remember which was the first family we did? We did the family two. We did the family two. That was the first family we did. Now let's start with the past tense. The past tense of the family two. The roots we are going to take is ein la mim. Let's start with the roots that we took. Ein la mim. How should I construct the past tense? Alama. In the present tense, you are limo. You are limo. Alama, you are limo. Master was the aliman. The aliman. Now I expect that you are able to identify. Um, the, the indicators of this family. You're able to identify the indicators of this family. You know how Allama comes into it. How, why is it Allama? What is the indicator of this family? For example, they just shut down the second root letter. A good grasp of those concepts now, those tips. You Allimu, you can tell me that it is starting with the Dhamma and there's a, there's a Shadda in the, in the second root letter with a kasra. So this is this is a hint for, for the present tense. And ta'aliman is a is a is a masdar taf'ilan pattern. Okay? These things that I, I'm I'm assuming that you understand now. We have covered that in quite a lot of detail in the last classes. And I hope this is this is understandable. This is uh, this is what you are now comfortable with. Okay, this is the family two that we did. Okay, now let's go to the family three. The family three. In the family three, what was the family three? We, it was a Jahada family, wasn't it? It was a Jahada family. So it's Jahada, Jahada, Yujahidu. You should be able to construct it in your head while I'm doing it. Jahada, you jahidu. Now, what's the master? That's where comes a bit. Because master is something you can you have to memorize, right? So you have to memorize the master. Okay, so you have to memorize the master. It's 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 not something that you have to pattern of the master. It's not something that comes uh, with some sort of logic, but master is something you really have to memorize. There's no other way out other than memorizing the master. So, um, so we, we only had a choice to memorize the master. So it's, it's, it's good if you have memorized it. So if you haven't memorized it, you have to memorize the master, the patterns of the master, because without memorizing the masters and the patterns, you will find it difficult to keep pace, pace and keep everything in mind. Okay, so this family, Jahada, Yujahidu, it had two masters. It had two masters. Jihadan. Jihadan. Wa Mujahada. Wa Mujahada. Okay. What was the command of this family? What was the command of this family? The command was Jahid. The command was Jahid. Okay. So you remember tips? You remember the difference of this family that it brings to the table? How do we identify this family? What is the what is the indicator of this family? The indicator was there was a there was a, a lift after the first root letter. There was an alif after the first root letter. 
The present tense again starts with the dhamma. It has two masters. Right? Now family four. Family four. Now in family four, we had aslama. Aslama. Yuslimu. Yuslimu. Aslama, Yuslimu. Islaman. Islaman. Okay. Aslama, Yuslimu, Islaman. What was the command? There was something special about the command here. What was the command? The command started with a Hamza and a Fatha because when we constructed the command, we gave it a helper Hamza instead of the helper Alif. It was a special case, exception. Aslim. Aslim. Okay, it was not Islim, it was Aslim. It was not Islim. It was Aslim. Okay. Now, in this command, we had a special case of Amanu. Remember that case? We had a special case of Amanu. We had a special case of Amanu. So, Amanu had root letters Hamza, Meme, and Noon. And when we said that when two Hamzas come together, they become what? They become a, a lift with a mud on it. They become a lift with a mud on it. So we did this. This the amana. Or this this hum, the alif with, with mud is effectively one Hamza coming from the family because it starts with the Hamza and the sukun on the first root letter, and the second Hamza is the first root letter with the sukun on it. Okay, amana. You minu amana you minu. This is also Hamza but on a vowel because there's a dhamma before it. There's a dhamma before it, so we put a vowel a form of Hamza. We make Hamza sit on the vowel. Okay. You imanan. 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 And the command was the command was Amen. Command was Amen. This was the special case here. Okay. Back in the class in quite a lot of detail. If you if you struggle to remember all of this, please go back, listen to the lectures. Please go back and listen to the lectures, inshallah. So and you have all the notes as well. The notes are also available now from our websites, from the website where your class is listed. You can always go and look at the notes. All the notes are there, not just for your class, but all the other classes. So you have a lot of comprehensive material over there to review from. So go back, take the class, um, take the lecture again, um, just get yourself familiarized with this. Come back here. It will it will be fine. Just just learn on at your own pace. It's fine. That's why the recordings are there. You don't if you if you if you if you struggle to cope up with the class, if you struggle to uh, understand what we say in the class, then it's an indication that you probably need to revise the previous lectures. So don't don't be greedy in a sense that you have to cope up with the class. You should be aiming for the quality, not the quantity. It's not important how much you cover, how quickly. It's important how good you understand it. Once you understand it bet better, then you will be automatically going faster. Okay, but if you're going faster automatically, but what you're going fast, if but you if you're going faster, you not necessarily automatically understand it better. Okay, so your focus should be understand things better go back take the recordings take your time that whatever suits you Allah is looking for your pursuit your effort your your time that you will spend inshallah in learning this every single second inshallah Allah will help you with that and may Allah reward all of you and myself and all of us 
who put this effort in it in abundance inshallah so, so all i'm saying really you you know this um i am not saying anything new so i think you already know so i just learn at your pace and the only thing you need to do is not give up just don't give up okay just learn at your pace keep on going keep on going and and if if no one is watching allah is watching okay he knows he will help you inshallah okay? have faith and have that belief and just keep on going good then we did family five after family four we did family five in family five we it was a tafarraka family if you remember it was a tafarraka family you remember the indicators of family five tafarraka tafarraka so the indicators were okay it starts with a ta it starts with a ta it's a, it has an extra ta in the front of a past tense and it has a shadda with the shadda on the second root letter shadda on the second root letter and this family loves fatha this family in this family fatha dominates in the active in the active present and past the fatha dominates in the active present and past okay so the farraka yatafarraku Farraka yatafarraku tafarraku tafarraku yatafarraku tafarrukan tafarrukan okay tafarraka yatafarraku what was the command? The far rock. The far rock. What's the command? The far rock. Yeah, the far rock. The far On the keyboard, the far high is on a letter board. And you have to press this shift button to put the far high on. And if, if you're not accurate with your timing in pressing the shift button, it puts a word instead of a fatha. This is a mistake I keep on doing when I type. This is, I, you keep on seeing that happen. So bear with me on this. I'm trying my best to learn the typing as quickly as I can. I'm still not there. So still trying to do this. Okay. The farraka, the farraku, the farraka, the farrak, the farrak. That was the command we did in the family five. Okay, that was the command we did in the family five. Family six, that's what we did in the last class. That's what we did in the last class. We use the root letters ein, wow, and noon. Ein, wow, and noon. Okay, so the, what was the indication of this family? Avana. Avana. So what was the indication? It also had a ta, extra ta in the beginning. It also had an extra ta in the beginning. And it had, had an extra alif after the first root letter. It had extra letter. Okay. The Avana and this family also dominates its fatha in the active form, in the present tense. It, the fatha dominates. The fatha dominates in this family. Okay. The avana. Yata avanu. The avunan. The avunan. The avunan. The avana. Yata avanu. The avunan. The avana yet the avanu the a wunan. Now, what was the command? What was the command? The command is simple in this family the a one. Okay, the a one. A one. 
Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. So I hope you are able to, I hope you are able to understand this and you're able to uh, get hold of all of this. Inshallah, it will only help you, no one else. So keep on putting that effort, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Keep on. There's no one who can stop you if Allah is with you. So just, just have your faith, keep on going, don't give up. Same, it's a language and it, it takes effort. It's not, it's not easy to learn any language whatsoever. Language whatsoever. So don't, don't, don't expect yourself to be experts in Arabic language in a few months or weeks. People spend years is is in understanding and learning the languages I think that you will be able to or I will be able to understand the language and and learn it very very quickly no it will take effort it will take time I can't I just can't speak Arabic today all I know is to decode the Arabic on the Quran from some grammatical ruling perspective and I'm still learning uh, this language, and inshallah, you will also follow the same journey. But just don't give up, okay? Just keep on going, inshallah. So this content, this content is available. This course is available online for you. You have all the access. Just go and just go and listen to the lectures and and get it done. Okay, inshallah. Just keep on fighting for it. Good. So I hope it gave you a good summary of what we did in the last classes since we began the surf study before surf we have done a lot of topics as well like conditional statements like the concepts of ma like kana and its sisters all of those things we have also done those lectures are there as well uh, inshallah inshallah we keep on going we are all, already on the six families and they're in total 10 families so we are already quite good on pace so we should be able to complete family seven today and and we should be able to do family eight tomorrow and then we have two families left nine and ten which should be done by the next week so if we are done by the next week uh family uh, nine and ten then the week after the weekend after we will do family one and the dictionaries we'll do the family one and the dictionaries so after the family one and the dictionaries you are all set with the regular self-study. You, you have done the regular self-study. And now it's time for practice. And we'll talk about the project. We'll, we'll, go through, um, we'll go through some Quranic examples, inshallah, if possible, and time permitting. We'll try to apply our knowledge in the Quranic example. I will try to pick up a surah and we'll just go through it so we understand it a bit. And bring, that, that should bring everything together. And then Ramzan kicks in. And all of us go and make a project in Ramadan and we connect with the Quran with all the knowledge we have got, good or bad, limited or not limited, whatever the level of knowledge is. We just go and put our effort and try to connect with the Quran as much as we can. Okay, and inshallah, Allah will open it up for us. Okay, so it's uh, Allah says in the Quran. Uh, as you all know, these this has book has a guidance for people who are muttaqi, meaning God conscious, meaning God conscious. And then Allah says, Allazina yu'minuna bil ghaib. The first requirement of people to be God conscious is that they believe in the unseen. They believe in the unseen. Allazina yu'minuna bil ghaib. Then Allah says, salata, and they establish prayer. And they establish prayer. The third requirement, and they spend from what we have given them. They spend in the in the in the in the way of Allah. Three requirements, basic three requirements. Allah is setting a stage right in the beginning of the Quran, saying, Okay, this book has people who are God conscious. Who are the people who are God conscious? 
Uh, number one, they believe in the unseen. Number two, they establish their salah. Number three, uh, they spend in the way of Allah. Three things, just three things. Okay. Now, how, how does this connect to this learning? How I see it. So, the first requirement is the people who believe in the unseen. People who believe in the unseen, things that have not happened in front of your eyes, things that you can't imagine or, or see, things that you do not know if it's going to happen, things that you have no idea or no control on. For example, you have not seen your fifth day from now. You just don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen on your fifth day from now. Okay? You, you can't predict, predict your, your, your life on that day. Hey, all you know, you may be having some plans, or I have this meeting or that meeting, but you just don't know if that is going to happen or not because it's, things change, people, people die, something happens, whatever, meeting cancelled, we don't know. So we, so we have belief in, in, in things that only Allah knows. For example, we have not seen the Jannah or Jahannam. Okay? So we have never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we believe in it. We have never seen a Quran in the law of but we believe in it. Just like that, we have not seen the time where we will be able to connect with the Quran. This is something ghaib to us. This is something which is not known to us. And, and Allah, we have to believe that Allah will help us. Allah will help us. And Allah has a plan for us. Whatever we are doing is what Allah is making us do. Okay, there's a reason behind it that if you don't understand, Allah understands. Okay, so, so keep your belief on, on that, inshallah, and, and keep on fighting. Keep on going forward, and, and it will open up, inshallah. And I hope I, the first level of guidance, I hope the first the, all the guidance that I'm trying to give you is first for myself and then for anyone else, because I, I, I just think that I also need the same level of commitment that you guys need and uh, and every single one of us needs. So there, there's a lot of distraction around us. Uh, there's a lot of distraction, various shapes and form in terms of our jobs, our kids, our families, our cars, our routines, our fun plans, our television, mobile phone, whatever, people around us. Um, there are a lot of distractions. Um, and distraction is not necessarily bad. It's it's good. It, there, there are distractions which are good. For example, your child playing and having a nice time, and you all of a sudden starts to look at your child and you start enjoying it. It's a good distraction from the, what, what what you were doing. But still, that there has to be a control on that distraction that you and I need to bring into our lives. So we focus when we connect to the book of Allah, connect to the Quran. We need to make sure that we can avoid all the distractions as we can. So we need to create time for it. We create time for it. We won't find time for it. It's not going to happen. So uh, you, you will, the, the way world works today, it's so busy. Everyone is so busy uh, that you just don't find time for things. You have to create time. You have to create time. You have to find uh, a way to create time. Some people uh, decide to wake up early. Some people decide to sleep late in the night. Some people decide to drop few chores uh, from their daily routine to connect with the book. Some people just try to go out of the distraction zone. They, let's say if in your home there's a lot of noise and distraction, they just go out and sit in the library and do something about it. Just change the place. So whatever way suits you, but you need to create this time. I need to create this time and and Allah is watching. Allah is watching. Allah says in the Surah in Fatah, this is a, sorry I'm going on a tangent, but I, I do believe this is a very, very important um, aspect. So I want to show you, um, I want to show you what I'm, I was reading in Fatah and I was, I, I was completely, um, I was surprised by, by the fact what an infidel was talking about. So, Surah Infidel is Surah number eight. It's the small 19. It's one of the very easy Surahs. Serious problems with my browsing, I guess. 
and internet it's a machine that's a slide and it's a uh, uh, it's a good for all of us why, why am I they show you class it's still slow I'll just I'll just skip it for now okay Okay, uh, which is Surah number eight. Surah number eight. Here we go. Oh, this is 81. Yeah. Surah in Fatah. Okay. Surah in Fatah. This is a very small surah. It's just one page. Not even one page. Okay. So what Allah, Allah, Allah talks about in Surah in fitar Allah talks about in Surah in fitar Allah says, Wa inna alaykum lahafizin. Wa inna alaykum lahafizin. Certainly, they are keepers appointed on you. They are watchers appointed on you. Okay? They, they, there's someone watching you all the time. And then Allah mentions who they are. They're kiram and kathibin. They're very noble writers. They're many noble, and they're constantly recording. And they're recording what you're doing, okay? And Allah is, Allah is giving you this certain certainty here. Well, in na hafizin. from them and Allah is saying in the next ayah they know what you do they know whatever you do Allah is mentioning it here so they know whatever you do so I'm, I'm telling you this is because 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 the effort you're putting to learn the language of the Quran here they le to learn the language of the Quran here. There are hafizin, there are watchers appointed on you who are watching you. And they are kiram and katibin. We need to have a belief on it. This is uh, amanu bil ghaib. This is the belief in unseen that Allah talked about as one of the characteristics of the muttaqin in the Surah Baqarah that I mentioned. So we have not seen them. We don't know where they are. We don't know how they look like. But Allah is telling us. Allah is telling us they are half is in appointed on us. And they are very noble writers. They're recording. And they know what we do. They know what we do. Ya Lamuna Ma Taf Alun. Ya Maluna Ma Taf Alun. They know whatever you all do. Okay? So whatever you're doing here, whatever you're putting in terms of your effort to come closer to the Book of Allah, Allah is aware of people who are writing your effort, your pursuit. And this is every single, every single word you study, every single pen you move, they are aware. Believe on that and put your effort on it. Don't give up. Every single effort you put for coming towards the book of Allah, Allah will inshallah reward you for that because He knows and He has Kiram and Tatibin pointed on you. Okay? So just, just wanted to give you this insight. And uh, so, because sometimes when you're learning the language, it may get a bit, a bit uh, difficult to cope up and may get, get a bit difficult to understand you may slow down and that can affect your motivation for the language sometimes you're not finding time 
it affects the motivation of your language for your for you to continue the language. But just if you just remember, they are Kiram and Katibin. They are Kiram and Katibin appointed on you who are watching you and they know what whatever you do. Just these three lines, Inna alaykum la hafizin, Kiram and Katibin, Ya'lamuna ma tafalu. Surah in Fatar 82. Okay? If you just know these three lines, then you will always get a motivation. Because th then you want to show to Allah and, and Kiram and Katibin so they can take it to Allah that look, although I'm struggling, although I'm not performing the way others are performing, but I'm still fighting for it. But I'm still I still have faith in you, Allah. I still have faith in you. Uh, can you please help me? Okay. Okay. I hope that gave you some insight, inshallah. That's that's my own motivation driver most of the time. That that is my own motivation driver, and um, sometimes I do get lazy. Um, in, in, in my studies. I'm running way behind my courses. I have to achieve so much in, in some other courses I'm enrolled in and I just can't find time for it. And just, uh, I'm just trying my best as well and I just keep on reminding myself that that Allah is watching me and, and He is going to help me. Okay, Every one of us makes mistakes. All of us has have our own sins. Everyone do, does that. Uh, we're not we're not innocent in terms of sins. Everyone does it. Everyone does mistakes. Okay? But the point is, if you do a mistake, if you make a sin, whatever it is, big or small, just have faith that if you ask Allah for forgiveness with sincerity, He will forgive you, inshallah. Okay? He will forgive you, inshallah. Okay? You just have to have a belief. Allah is Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Tells you in the Fatiha. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Okay? So he will, inshallah, forgive you. And all of us, of course, inshallah. May Allah forgive us, and inshallah, may Allah put all of us in Jannah and accept our effort for understanding the Quran and putting this effort to learn the language of the Quran. And inshallah, at one day, at some stage, may Allah make us all capable to teach this to our generations to come and to new people who are new to this. So we can also become part of their journey and help them grow in this journey, inshallah. Good. Long tangent, sorry about that, uh, but I hope it was useful and I hope that we we can we can um, benefit from this. So let's start with the family seven now. Now that we have a good review of family two to family six, um, uh, I hope it summarized it very well. Um, just quick thing, uh, it, the relation of family Family three is family three is um, more similar to. I'm just saying I'm just saying similar because I, I just want to give you some insights. Okay, so family three is about kind of more similar to family six because they both introduce an extra alif. Family five is kind of more similar to, let's say. Um, family two, because it introduces a shadda from that perspective, okay? And as like uh, a different family altogether, okay? So you can establish this mapping just to remember, just to remember, okay? Good, now family seven. Family seven is a very, very easy family. It's a very easy family. And um, so in this, in this family, uh, there are indications that I'm going to tell you. This family, in, in, in this family, the past tense, the past tense, the past tense starts with an extra in, with an extra in. In Aleph with the Kasra and Noon. It's a good in, with an extra in. Okay? Past tense starts with an extra in. Okay? And let me make things a bit easier for you. For this family. This family, it does not... It does not have passives. It does not have passives. 
it does not have passives. Therefore, it also does not have isam mafoul. Isam mafoul. Therefore, also no isam mafoul. Therefore, also no isam mafoul. You remember the isam mafoul we used to derive from the passive. Isam file we used to derive from uh, the, the 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 active. Yes, but in this case, you don't have any passives. Therefore, you can't der derive the ism maf'ul, but you do have the ism zarf, which is usually just like ism maf'ul, but anyway, uh, you have ism zarf. Okay, so that's it about this family. It starts with an in, extra in in the past tense, just like other families, it starts with different things. Uh, it does not have passes, therefore, it also has no ism maf'ul. Okay, so let's construct this family, inshallah. So which one should I take? Let me take this one. We usually call it in Kalaba family. In Kalaba family, this one. Lam and ba. Kaf, lam and ba. So it's going to be starting with in. It starts with an in because that's how it starts, this family. And then the normal past tense way. Like nas way. For example, Kalaba. In Kalaba. In Kalaba. In Kalaba. You see that? So this in is coming from the family. This in is coming from the family. Okay? In Kalaba. So in Kalaba. So this is a past tense hua form. The in comes from the family itself. Okay? And then you have Qalaba, which has the three root letters, come as usual, Qalaba, okay? When you come to the present tense, when you come to the present tense, the present tense has to start with a Ya, right? In the, in the Hua form, so it's going to be Yan Qalibu. It's going to be Yan Qalibu. Yan Qalibu, okay? So it's going to be young, still here. It's not going anywhere. It's just the alif that is replaced here. Right? Because the present tense has to start with a ya. That's why the alif is replaced. So don't in present tense, you won't find alif. It's just like here. The uh, then you have then you have yata'avana. Okay? We have aslama yuslimu. So there is no hamza in the present tense. See that? Okay? There's no hamza in the present tense in the beginning. It starts with a ya. Okay. In kalaba yan kalibu. In kalaba yan kalibu. In kalaba yan. It the it's masdar takes a form. Uh did I tell you? No, I did not tell you that. So masdar takes the infialan pattern infialan pattern infialan infialan pattern okay this in comes from the family and then they are all root letters so it's going to be in on in in qilaban in qilaban in qilaban pattern in qilaban in kalaba yan kalibu in qilaban in kalaba yan kalibu in qilaban <coughs> In Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, in Kilaban. In Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, in Kilaban. Okay? So, in Fi'alan, in Kilaban. Is it the same? Map it. Map it in your mind. Look. So, in, and there's in. Fi, there's Qi. There's A, there's La. 
there is lun and then there is ban in qilaban in fi'alan okay it's the same pattern it's the same pattern okay in qalaba yan qalibu in qilaban now ism fa'il ism fa'il ism fa'il is constructed the usual way the usual way there is no difference you take the present tense and you replace the ya with a mean and put a dhamma on it and then you make it hari okay so it's going to become mun qalibun mun qalibun you see that so you have you remove the ya and you you have put the meme there first then you put the dhamma on the meme that becomes mun that becomes mun then you made made the ba heavy then you made the ba heavy mun qalibun mun qalibun okay in qalaba yan qalibu in qilaban mun qalibun in qalaba yan qalibu in qilaban mun qalibun okay good alhamdulillah this row what was this row about what was this row about this row was about passives wasn't it so we used to write passive but this family doesn't have one it doesn't have passives hurrah so we don't have to we don't have to do passives here so i'm going to merge all of this together and i'm going to say a big happy no passives i'm going to say big happy no passives for this family i'm going to say no passes for, for this family passives for this family okay no family so good news one less thing to remember isn't it so be happy about this <laughs> this should motivate you inshallah this should motivate you inshallah okay in kalaba yan kalibu in kalaban Munqalibun, and then there are no passives in this family. There are no passives in this family. Good. Now we need to construct the command. Let's construct the command the way we do. Normally we do. Okay. So we say, uh, we say command for for or yan qalibu. Command for yan qalibu. Okay. So what would you do? You first take the yan qalibu. Command. Okay. We're going to construct the command. You make it anta form. That becomes what? Tan Kalibu becomes Tan Kalibu. Okay, then you make it lightest. Say Tan Kalib Tan Kalib. Okay, Tan Kalib, and then you remove the ta. Noon. Kaf, Lam, Ba. Now, what's the problem? What's the problem? <clears throat> I can't read it because there is a sukun. There is a sukun on the noon. I can't read it. I can't read it. Right? So, what? What, what should I do? What should I do? If I can't read it, I give it. A helper alif, a helper alif, an alif, and then I say alif. What is the haraka on the alif? What is the haraka on the alif? How do I find the haraka on the alif? The process we have learned. What is the haraka on the alif? So what we do, 
we go back to the Hua version here. Yan Kalibu. We go back to the Hua version. Second to last letter. Second to the last letter. Which one is it? This Lam. It is Lam. This is the letter I'm looking at. It's Lam. And we check what haraka on it is on it. What is the haraka on it? Okay. What is the haraka on it? If it is a dhamma, if it is a dhamma, the helper alif would get a dhamma. If it is anything else other than dhamma, the helper alif would get a kasra. Okay, we did that in the commanding lesson. So this would be in kalib. In kalib. Okay, in Kalib. So we write it here in Kalib. So we have found the command. Hurrah, in Kalib. Okay. In Kalib. This should also give us the forbidding, which is La. What, what would be the forbidding? Which one should I use from the bottom? Tan Kalibu, Tan Kalib. It's tan kalib, la plus second person lightest, la tan kalib, yes? Tan kalib. La tan kalib, okay? La tan kalib. And now we have the zarf, some zarf, the time and a place. Zarf, what should be the zarf? Should, zarf used to be same as the ism of ul. Zarf used to be same as the ism of ul. Now imagine if there were passives in this family. If there were passives in this family, what would be the ism of ul? Can you derive the ism of ul from ism file? Can you derive it? There was there used to be difference between ism of ul and ism file, and they, these differences were subtle. These differences were subtle. Munkalibun. The ism file has a kasra. The ism file has a kasra. Look here. Ism file has a kasra. Okay. Ism file has a kasra. But the ism of all used to have what? A fatha ism of all used to have a fatha. Can I take the ism file and derive the, is, the ism zarf? Because ism zarf is same as the ism of all. Okay, so I would say it's mun kalab mun kalabun mun kalabun. All I've done is put a fatha on the alif. The fatha on the alif, mun kalabun. That's it. Done. That's the family seven. That is the family seven. Nothing else. You've done the family seven. It starts with an extra in in the past tense. Starts with an extra in in the past tense. It has no passives. And it's must that takes the infi infi form. And you can derive the ism zarf using um using the ism fi ism file. Okay. All right. Let's Let's pick up another word and construct this table again with another root letter set. Let me pick up this one. Kaf, kaf, seen, and raw. I'm going to pick up kaf, seen, and raw. Okay, let's pick up these ones. And I'm going to put this table on the next page. Okay.
okay. So there are no families, no passives in this family. So I'm going to keep that text. And we will construct, inshallah, with the root letters. Kaf, seen, and raw. Kaf, seen, and raw. Okay. So it starts with what? Extra in in the past tense. So that's going to be in. Sorry. That's going to be in. Going to be in Kasara. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru. Yan Kasiru. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru. In Kasara, In Kasara, Yan Kasiru. In Kisaran. In Fialan, remember? In Kisaran. In Kisaran. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran. Okay? In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran. Okay. The same derived as from the uh, from the present tense. You take the present tense, you replace the ya with the meme, and you put and and you put the and you put the haraka as a dhamma. Your haraka is the dhamma. It's mun kasirun. Or sukun in the present tense. No, it's telling you, okay. Kasiru. Okay. Mun Kasirun. Mun Kasirun. In Kasara, Yen Kasiru, in Kisaran, Mun Kasirun. So, just so you are clear, in is coming from the family. This noon is coming from the family. This in is coming in the master as well from the family. Okay? Is coming from the family. Mun Kasirun. And there are no passes for this family. So we directly jump onto the command. Let's construct the command for this one. Command for this one. Command for command for Yan Kasiru. So you take Yan Kasiru. Yan Kasiru, you make it second person, it becomes Tan Kasiru. Tan Kasiru. Okay. And you make it lightest. Tan Kasiru. And you remove the Ta. Noon Kasiru. And then you give it a helper alif. You go back to the Pua version, you see the second to last root letter. And you find that there is a kasra here. Because there is a kasra, you just give the helper alif a kasra. Okay, anything other than dhamma on the second to last root letter, the helper alif gets the kasra. In Kasir. That's your command. So in Kasir. In Kasir. All right. Make it in Kasir. Okay. From the command, because we have done through this, <clears throat> we have done this entire chain of constructing a command, you can also pick up for the forbidden. Forbidding la, which one is it? Which one is it? Tan kasir, the lightest form, right? La tan kasir, second person lightest. 
लातन कसिर लातन कसिर ओके ग्रेट एंड देन द फाइनल वन इसम जर्फ इसम जर्फ so because we did not have passes we drove we derived the ism surf last time from the ism file and what we did we just changed the kasra to the fatha it's going to become mun kasarun okay mun kasarun so this is a kasra here kasra here and there is a fatha here Okay. I did not change the color. Wait a second. Make sure the color changes so you remember when you read at home. Okay. I'll fix it and I'll send it to you. Some something is happening. I understand why it is creating such minute problems. But anyway, you know what I mean. So there's there's a kasra over there, and there's a fatha here. So take a look at this part of this word, and then okay, so remember this part. Remember this part. Okay. This is where the change is. Okay. Good. Inshallah. Okay. So good. I hope. But this is an easy family. I hope you should you are able to understand it. So let's dive into the Quran a bit. I've brought a few Quranic examples for you uh, from the Quran. Okay. So now what you learn? But is a in kalabu in kalabu. Well, so we have done this, this word just now. Okay. We have done this word just now. So what? What's the word? What's the word? Kaf, lam, and ba were the root letters, and we constructed it in this family. And the extra alif comes in kalaba was the past tense. Then this is the huwa form. What is the huma form? Form. What is the huma form in? Kalaba, in kalaba, in kalaba, and then in kalabu, in kalabu. Okay, in kalabu. Is it the same word? Yeah, yeah. That's how we get it, isn't it? So this is this is home version. This is home version. This is home version of in Kalaba. This is home version of in Kalaba. Family seven. This is home version of in Kalaba. Family seven. Okay, how we know it's family seven because it starts with an in. Okay, it starts with an in. Okay, it starts with an in. And it has. The three root letters, kaf, lam, and ba, and this vow is basically the telling me the pronoun, the inside pronoun. This is effectively telling me the inside pronoun. Okay, it's the ending of a hum 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 form. In there's no reason for me to call it a present tense. Okay, there's no reason to call me a present tense. But let me give you a tip here. Um, let me give you a tip here. Okay, so this is an important point that I just recall, so you don't get confused. Um, so let's say if we have this word in Kalabu, okay. In kalabu is a past tense. So what what we have here is is in kalabu past tense. If I have to make a present tense, what would be it? What would be it? In home form. In, in home form. 
So let's make the present time. It's yan. It's yan. Yan kalabu. Yan kalabu. Sorry, yan kalibu. Kalibu. Yes. In kalaba yan kalibu. Nasra yan suru yan 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 suru yan surani. Yansuru, Yansurani, Yansuruna. Hua, Huma, Hum. Huma version of Yansuru was Yansurani. This is Yankalibani. Yankalibani would be the Huma form, right? Yankalibani. Yankalibani is the present tense Huma. Okay? So I'm just constructing the present tense chart with Yankalibu. Yankalibu. Yan Kalibani and Kalibuna, isn't it? Yan Kalibuna. You have to listen to this carefully. Yan Kalibuna. 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 Okay. Now this first one was who Hua. This first one was Hua. Huma, Hua, Huma, and the third one was Hum. Hua, Huma, Hum. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Hum version and I'm going to create a command. And I'm going to create a command. Okay. Yan Kalibu. Yes, you change it to the second person. This is which form? Antum form. This is Antum form. Okay. Antum. Then you make it lightest. Then you make it lightest. How should I make it lightest? Un -kali -boo. Is this the lightest form? Tan Kalibu. Tan Kalibu. Tan Kalibu. Okay? It's the lightest form. I remove the noon sound. Tan Kalibu. Then, then you remove the ta, it becomes noon Kalibu. Noon Kalibu. Okay, now there is a sukun in the front, and I can't read it, so I have to give it a helper. Aleph. And then I write the same word again. Okay. Really good. Okay. Now, I, I need to give haraka to the helper Aleph. How should I give the haraka, haraka to the helper Aleph? I go to the hua form. Hua form, second to last root letter, second to last letter of the Hua form. This is what I'm looking at. Lam with the Kasra. If Dhamma, if there is anything other than Kasra, what should I give? What should I give? Kasra. I give Kasra. Now, listen to me very carefully. Take a look at this, the incoming from the family. It has incoming from the family. And the, the U in the end, has, this is a home form, right? It's incoming from the family and there's who, who telling me that this is the home form. You will in the ayah here. Are they, are they not similar? What is the difference? What is the difference? We said this is a past tense. This we, we said this is El Madi. This is El Madi. Okay. 
this is fail madhi hum okay but this is what we are saying this is we are saying this one we are saying this one is not fail madhi this is uh, the command we are saying fail amar amar hum I'm saying fail Amar Hum. Let's make it small, it's too big. Okay. My computer is actually quite slow at the most everything uh, that I do. And I'm just not in a mood where it gets crashed. So I'm just being very, very careful here. Okay. But you see my point. But you see my point. In kalabu and in kalibu. In kalabu and in kalibu. The in kalabu is the past tense. The aya we are looking at is the past tense home form. But the present tense command. The present tense command is very, very similar. The only difference is the fatha and the kasra in the middle. The past tense is in kalabu and the command is in kalibu. You see that difference? You see that difference? Okay, so I'm, I'm a bit cautious here because my computer is going completely slow. So I just want, don't want to take any drastic action so it crashes. Bear with me, it's not responding to me. I'm not able to shrink it down for some reason. Not, not able to. Okay. Um, it's, it's too slow. I need to do something about this. Okay, that's something happening. Okay, cool. Great, Alhamdulillah. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Um, it's it's getting a bit bonkers here. Um, um, a bit nightmarish. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. I'm I'm looking at these two things. I'm looking at this part, this word. I'm looking at this 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 element here on top, but you see in Alabu, and I'm also looking at the one at the bottom. Let me just put them in the boundary. Yes. So I'm looking at this part like this. I'm looking at and uh, um, and I'm also looking at this one. Okay. This is the tool I, we are doing right now. Just trying to find the difference. We're trying to find, find the day. We are the differences. So the difference is only one haraka. The difference is only one haraka. Okay. So be mindful of that. The difference is, is only one haraka. Okay, the in the u in the end gives us gives us the pronoun which is whom. The first one is in kalabu is a past tense whom. The second one is in kalibu is a is a is a is a command whom. It's a command for whom. The only difference is the kasra and the fakha in the middle. Be careful and mindful of that. Okay. That's why I did all of this process, so you know. When you talk about whom, when you talk about whom, usually the whom is and whom in the command look similar. Whom in the past tense and whom in the command look 
similar. You have to note down the haraka. You have to consider the haraka. If it's a fatha, it's 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 most likely a present is a past tense. But if it's a kasra, it's a good indication. It's a command. But this is language. There are always exceptions. But I'm giving you a heads up. Okay, just keep that in mind. Be, be mindful of this, inshallah. Okay. But I hope you understand. The next word in the eye is also in Kalabu. It's the same. For example, it's family seven, inshallah. Then there is is a sama un fatarat. Is a sama un fatarat. This is again family seven. This is also from the surah in Fatar that I just showed you in the beginning, where we talked about the Kiram and Kathibin. Okay. So this N comes from the family is just a different pronoun. Nasarat. Nasarat. Fatra. Nasarat. What is this? This is this is is it a present tense or a past tense? Is it a present tense or a past tense? It's a past tense. This is fi'l mazi. Which form? Which pronoun? It's here. It's a here. It's a here. How do I know it's here? Because in the pre in the past tense, here and anta look the same. It's nasarat. It's nasarat. For here and it's Nasarat for Anta. Is it the case? Is it the case? No, that's not the case. Okay, it's Nasarata. It's Nasarta, sorry. Nasarta, not Nasarata. It's Nasarta. Nasarta, Nasartuma, Nasartu. Okay. It's a here and it's a here because. This is ref this pronoun is referring to asama'u. Asama'u is is a here, it's a feminine. Okay. Good. Next one. Yankalib. Yankalib. Summarj el basarakarataini yankalib. This is Surah Mulk. Okay. Yankalib. Okay. Yan Kalib is family seven. It's family seven. Okay. It's family seven. In this case, the noon comes from the family. The noon comes from the family. Okay. Noon comes from the family. And the next one is Fantalahu. This fa is not. This is a this is a connector. Okay, fa is a connector here. So effectively, it's antalahu. It's in talaku. So the in comes from this in comes from the family. The in comes from the family. And this vowel and alif gives me a pronoun, the inside pronoun. Now tell me, is this a past tense or is it a present tense command? Is it a past tense or is it a present tense command? This is a past tense. This is a past tense. Fi'il mazi. Mazi and which pronoun? It's a hum. It's a fail mazi hum. How do I know it's a fail mazi hum? Because I see there's a fatha in the middle. Because I see there's a fatha in the middle. That tells me it is fail mazi. If it was a command, if it would be like this. Oops. 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 Oops, 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 oops. Yeah. 
yan uh, yan talaku okay. yan talaku yan talakuna would be the pre sorry uh, yan talakuna yan talakuna would be the present tense whom I would change it to present tense antum tantalakuna right tantalakuna and I will make it lightest I will call it tan Talaku. And then I will remove the ta. It will become noon talaku that I can't read. And then I will give it a helper alif. So it's yantaliku, sorry, not the yantalaku. See, there's a fat, not fatha kasra. Kasra uh, here. All the way kasra. Okay. So that's how the present tense would look like. Therefore, the command with the L end up in in taliku. I would give it a kasra uh, under the alif because in the past, in the in the hua form, I have a kasra last root letter. Okay, so I will give it a kasra in taliku. In taliku. So the the difference is going to come here. That's the command. That's the command. For this word okay that's a command for this, this word so that's the difference and that's how I know that's how I know it's a fail madhi it's a fail madhi whom and not the the command whom okay good alhamdulillah good so we covered quite a bit today as well we alhamdulillah done and I hope you found it useful. I hope you were able to understand uh, the family seven. It's not a difficult family. It's an easy family, quite easy to spot. It has an in indication, which is quite okay. Um, just, 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 just spend some time with this, uh, with the notes, with the recordings. Listen to the lectures, and inshallah, you will get it. You'll get it fairly quickly. Uh, inshallah, there is nothing. Nothing really um, scary about this family, so be be mindful of what what you have learned and and practice it, and and try to try to construct the tables with the with the root letters that I have given you in the notes. I will make these notes available to you. The root letters construct the tables, and inshallah, you will be good. Nothing to worry about, inshallah. Okay. So may Allah help us understand his book of or his book and also understand uh, the language of the book and may Allah forgive our mistakes and also um, help us to understand it quickly and with ease. Um, please remember me in your du'as and also make du'a for yourself and for your, for your loved ones. Inshallah, I will see you tomorrow. Jazakum, jazakum al khairan for joining. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.